And now that we are in our text editors, the first order of business is to understand how can we start working with CSS. So here you can see that I'm going to be using the brackets text editor, and this is going to be my live preview. So we're here we're going to start by creating the first HTML skeleton, right, the most simplest one. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to say that this is going to be a full HTML skeleton. Now that we have this one over here, we're just going to say that the English is going to be our language. Then over here for the title, we're going to say that this is going to be CSS tutorial over here. And then over here, you can see that we have a script and we have a link, right? And let's just delete this link because we're going to create a new one anyway, just in a second, right? So over here, as you know from HTML, we would need to be working in our body, right? So let's just have an example where I have a heading one over here like this. I'm going to create a heading one. And I'm going to say that this is going to be this, this is paragraph one, number, number one over here. And let's just add some paragraph with the text. So I'm going to have a paragraph and I'm just going to put some dummy text, right, over here. And maybe let's put some more, right. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another one, another heading. And I'm going to say that this is going to be heading two over here like this heading two and this is also going to be this is uh, paragraph paragraph number two over here like this and then we're going to write another paragraph right but we can just copy and paste this guy so if we grab this paragraph over here like this and we're going to copy this guy and paste it over here now that we're done with css Let's check it out what kind of options we have to work with CSS. And over here, I'm going to create a comment over here so you have it all the time in front of you. And the first one would be inline. Then we have internal over here. And then we have external. And let's just start one by one. So in order to work with CSS, the only thing that I would need to do if I would want to work it inline, I could go to the actual element that I want to work with, right? So in this case, let's say I'm going to have work with heading two, and I'm going to write over here style, and over here, then I would need to write my property and my value. And I'm going to explain what is property and value in a second, but for now, let's just work with me, right? Because we haven't learned it yet, and let's just do whatever I'm doing right now. So I'm going to say background color over here, and I'm going to set it equal to, let's say, red over here right so now you can see that right away my paragraph turned red right i did this magic i wrote over here this style background color red and it appeared red over here now this is the our first option now this option though this is not very popular because what happens is that you need to actually go to every element in your page and add some kind of rules and you will just see in a bit how actually it is much more useful to do one of the other two ways so the other way, the second way would be internal, right? In order to work internally with our CSS, in the head element over here, we would need to create a tags and they would be called style tags over here like this. And let's say over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a CSS rule. And again, I'm gonna go over the actual syntax of the rule, but for now, just follow what I'm doing and then later on, you'll understand in a second, right? So over here, I'm gonna say heading one, so it would be targeting right now heading one. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say the same thing. However, I'm going to write it over here. And I'm going to say background color. And I'm going to say blue this time. Over here like this. Now I can see that it actually turned blue. Now this option is much more better because what I can do right now, I don't need to target the actual elements, right? So if I would want to say, let's say, target all the paragraphs, right? I would write background color over here. And I would write yellow. And again, don't worry about right now about these background colors, the properties, the values, right? Again, we're going to go over them just in a second. Just see how we can use actually CSS, right? Now, this would be our second option. Now, our third option, and actually the option that everyone uses because it's the most convenient one, is actually called external. And for the external, let's go over here. And what I would need to do is add a link, but it still would need to be in a head element over here right so don't put it in a body actually put in a link element and over here you can see that i actually skipped a little bit right what we would need to do over here we would need to write a link over here like this and then we would need to have a relationship over here and we would need to write style sheet 
and then over here this would be an href right so basically what is the source so it's the same as like if you would be dealing with links right and over here you can see that i don't have the style sheet yet right so i'm just going to say this is going to be main css over here right and obviously over here now i would need to create a css style sheet right and what i would need to do is create a new file so i'm going to say new file and i'm going to name it main css now my hands are kind of tied because i already named it main css right but just remember for all the css files you need to have the css extension otherwise uh, your editor or browser is not going to know what are you talking about right so don't write like your own names like i don't know it's like text or something right if you're going to write over here main text over here or in here right it's not going to make any sense right so it needs to be main css and what we can do is we can actually write the same rules over here right so let's say for this case i'm going to say that this is going to be body right so now i'm going to be targeting the whole body and over here i'm going to say background color and let's say something like pink right and now i can see that my whole body turned pink now the difference over here with this one is that i don't need to attach it to every file that i'm working on right the difference is that i can have what code in one place over here in my style sheet and i can just attach this style sheet to all the documents that i want right i don't need to be going around and copying and pasting this code to every style sheet that i have the only thing that i need is a link over here and i can link this to as many pages that i would want therefore this over here this third option the main css or the external over here external style sheet is the most preferred one and actually that's where we're going to be working all our tutorial because we just need to set our priorities straight and we need to start working like we would be working in a real world